Hey everyone, it's technology expert Bert Michelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're going to talk about lost smartphones and tablets and how you can locate them in case you misplace them. A lot of us with our smart devices, we hold them close to us, but there are those times that we set them down and we can't seem to locate them. Also, smartphones are prone to theft, so it's very important that you make sure that you know how to find them. And you can also erase those smart devices in case you, in case it's stolen or you can't find it. We're going to take a look at uh, both Android and Apple devices and see how you can find those phones. Uh, let's switch screens here and uh, we'll take a look and see how you can find those devices. All right. We've got the steps here on how to find my iPhone. It's pretty simple. From your home screen, if you want to turn on the location services for Find My iPhone, you start at your home screen, and then from your home screen, you go to settings. Uh, once you go to settings, you then go to iCloud, uh, and then you scroll to the bottom until you find Find My iPhone. Uh, once you find that, slide it on, and uh, it'll send to your last location of your iPhone. Uh, this comes in handy too for iPad devices because you can do the same thing. From your home screen you just go to settings and then go to iCloud and then it'll allow you to find my iPad. Uh, what's great about this feature is that you can definitely go to the iCloud website which is at www.icloud.com. Once you out enter in your Apple ID and your password at the iCloud uh, website then you can find your uh, smartphone, meaning your iPhone, and you can also find your iPad too. Uh, it uses GPS location services, so uh, you can find your phone wherever it is on your map. Now, not too handy of a feature if it's in your house, but uh, if you lost it at a location, say, uh, away from your house, you can definitely locate your phone or if your iPad. Also, if it is at home, at least you'll have the peace of mind of knowing that you uh, that your phone is somewhere around your house so also uh, from the iCloud website which is not featured here you can erase your iPhone and your iPad uh, if you can't locate them or if you think that they're stolen now for your Android users uh, you can click on let's go to our next slide and you can go to find my device now for Android devices, this feature is already turned on, so uh, you basically just have to go to find my device. Uh, so you go to android.com um, slash find, and then you sign into your Google account, which uh, if you have an Android phone or a Google phone, uh, that account is set up with a Google account. If you don't know what that account number is, I would highly recommend that you go to your cell phone provider to find out what your Google account is and what your password is. Um, if you have multiple devices, you can definitely click on the device that's lost and you can look on the map and find out where that device is. Um, again, it uses GPS location services, so uh, it may be close to the location, but again, like with your iPhone, if you lost your Android phone or tablet at home, at least you have the peace of mind of knowing that if it shows up on the GPS locator that it will be at home. But again, if you've lost it uh, in another location, it'll show up on the map too if it's on. Now, uh, if you have problems with your Android phone, it's pretty neat um, the things that you can do from the uh, website. Um, one of the things you can do is play a sound. Uh, so if the phone is around your house, you can definitely uh, play a sound and try to find your Android device. Uh, if it's at a friend's house or you know where it is but you don't want them looking at your stuff, you can click on the lock feature where it'll lock that phone up. Now keep in mind with your Android devices that your phone should always be locked in order to keep cyber criminals and snooping friends away from your device. Um, and then finally, if you think that the device is permanently lost, then you can click on the erase feature, which will erase your Android tablet or phone, uh, keeping your data safe. Now, as far as 
backing up your information as far as the erase feature is concerned, on most Android phones, the backup feature is automatically enabled, uh, but you can also go into settings of your Android phone or tablet and verify that those settings are, are turned on for backup. And then finally, if this is confusing for you as far as setting up your Android or Apple device for uh, locating it, uh, you can go to your cell provider, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, or T-Mobile, and most of the major services have their own support and protection plans. Uh, as you can see, Verizon has smart support and protection, AT&T has family map, T-Mobile has lookout, and Sprint has family locator. So. Um, you can definitely use these tools with your cellular provider uh, and also to, to verify that you're, you can locate your phone and also to verify that no one is going to uh, get access to your information with the wipe features enabled. So there you have it, some tools to help you keep track of your smartphone and tablet just in case you lose those devices. As always, if you've got comments or questions, Leave them in the comments section below. Uh, you can check out more great tech tip videos like this one at our YouTube channel at Integral. Uh, there's over a couple of hundred videos there with various tech tips uh, designed to help you get the most out of the technology that you use in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, also, you can uh, check out my YouTube channel at Burton Kelso. I'll, there's also a ton of videos there as well that you can check out uh, as far as tech tips are concerned. Uh, as always, take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile, and thanks for watching.